Pixar Prime 10 here with a very big review. As you can tell, today I am reviewing the Transformers Platinum Edition Thrilling 30 line uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime, uh, the Year of the Horse Edition. Obviously, this is Masterpiece Optimus Prime repainted, uh, no remolds, just repainted to fit the year of the horse deco for the 30th anniversary of Transformers. This is probably the biggest box I've ever had to put on camera, and I cannot even fit the whole thing in. You guys can see how much it actually goes past my frame. It's actually the same height as my backboard, but it's just the angle of the camera that looks so big. You have a beautiful, totally beautiful image of Optimus Prime here on the front. Uh, you got Transformers up on the side, throwing 30, 2014, Platinum Edition. On the top it says... Optimus Prime. Uh, this is a Velcro flap, so when you open this up, it would have contained the figure inside, but I took it out because I don't want to spoil it. In the back there, you can see a nice Autobot slash year of the horse logo. And bringing this in frame, you can see we have Optimus in his open trailer in vehicle mode and in robot mode. It says trailer converts to battle station. And very amazing, as you can see, his technical data is 10s across the board. Extremely impressive. On the side here, you have a very interesting bio. If you want to go ahead and give that a read, let me focus that. There you go, so you can see that a little bit better. With a very cool picture of Optimus holding the Matrix there. On the back, you can see we have Optimus Prime. Uh, with his Snap-on Energon axe, the Matrix fits in his chest. Year of the Horse, I'm guessing that says, the little Japanese thing says 2014, says 2014 on the side. Optimus Prime, advanced level conversion of 3. What happened when it went up to 5? Uh, the truck mode, and this is 12 of 30. I think I only have one other thing, or two other things that go in the set. I have the Platinum Edition, Ultra Magnus, and the Platinum Edition, Grimlock vs. Bruticus. And I am hoping to get Starscream. Nope, oh, bump upside down. I am hoping to get... Starscream pretty soon. You can see my box is pretty jacked up. Not too thrilled about that. But alright guys. Uh, enough of the box. Wow, I really like that picture. That is a beautiful picture. Enough with the box. Let's get to the main guy himself, Optimus Prime. So here we have Year of the Horse Optimus Prime out of his packaging. Everything right here. Uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to run through the accessories like I did in the original Masterpiece Optimus Prime review. Then I'll compare them with the original MP10 accessories. So first off, we have Prime's gun. Obviously, it can still fold up. You press the little switch on the back. And it springs open. You just fold it. And this one has a little bit of tolerance issues. Clicks together. Folds out. Now, here's his gun. And if I just pull this one over. Here is the original MP10's gun. Now, as you can see, this one has a lot more, well, not a lot more, just a little bit more paint apps than this one, but that's all right, because uh, this is accurate the way this looks. Uh, this isn't really accurate to anything, because he's never had a gun like this. But um, I really do like both these guns. I think this looks good with the original, and I think this looks good matching the mirror of the horse design. I love the gold, opposed to the silver. Uh, this this brown bronze color I wouldn't normally like, but it does look good the way it's all sparkly. So I do really like that. I love the uh, silver on the barrel there. That's a really nice touch that I think it would would have even looked good on this gun. Um, I think that looks really good, and that's basically it. The handle is actually still black, but they can both still fold up, and this will still store in Prime's back. So there's the guns. Put that right there, and obviously he still comes with his Energon X. So here's this one. And here's the original. Obviously, this is blue. Uh, not really matching anything with to do with Year of the Horse, although uh, this guy has a bunch of clear blue plastic. Not on his actual uh, toy mode. He, I don't think he does, but on his uh, trailer, you can see this bit right here and that bit in there and everything else in there. We'll get to that when we get to the trailer. Matches this axe. So I really do like all the clear blue they included. Um, the exact same mold. Uh, this one can still remove like the other one, and I'm sure if you really wanted to. You could take this and peg that into there, and that fell off, because it's actually, it's weird. They're not the same size, because when you put this one in here, it falls right out. But then this one in here will stay in perfectly fine. Uh, I really think these look good together. Um, when I got these out of the packaging, I started playing around with them before I started the review, uh, just to kind of get used to it, and I took a bunch of pictures with the MP10 Prime. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have saw those. And, um... Basically, I think it's really cool that, like, this guy's in red axe, this guy's blue. It's kind of, like, 
good versus evil, even though I said that he's kind of like a Nemesis Prime to me. I'll get more into that later. But I think this is cool, like, red and blue, or this is really orange, or opposite colors. I think it's cool seeing them battle. But there's the Energon Axe. Now, those are the only, besides the trailer and the Matrix and obviously Optimus, those are the only accessories that actually come Again, with the MP10, we don't get a spike, and we don't get a roller fig well, figure. Uh, we don't get a roller. We don't get a little roller, and we don't get spike. Now, I guess I can understand the spike aspect, but I really would have liked to see a roller, especially with this clear trailer, being able to see him in there. That would have been really cool. But it's something I can overlook, and something that doesn't bother me too much, because when it comes down to it, roller on my original MP10 was displayed inside the trailer. So really, he wasn't even uh, displayed, so it's not an issue for me. Now what I'll do is, before we get to the big dude himself, I'm going to take him and move him out of the way, we are going to look at the trailer. So, here's the trailer, and as you can see, it still has these little things that still come down to help support it, and it's they're still black, still solid black. Um, differences, obviously, this part's still black here, but um, you can see that this is a clear crystal blue, kind of, when that comes out. And the, on the back here, my favorite part, is that you have this nice big Autobot Year of the Horse logo. Now, I would have liked it if it was just an Autobot logo, and half of it wasn't the Year of the Horse logo. Although it does look extremely cool, and I still love it, I think it would have been cooler, in my opinion, if it was just an Autobot logo. Um, on the back here, any of this black plastic is now kind of a smoky gray plastic. Um, still has rubber tires, and that's still silver. That hasn't changed. The Autobot logo is now um, red with gold on it, and the lines are still molded in there, but they're just not painted blue anymore. And uh, when you open up the trailer, let me swivel, swivel these out to the side. You can see that this thing is just an explosion of clearness and absolutely fades in. Well, not with my lights. I don't have that great of a lighting setup, but fades in. My favorite part about this being the little blue uh, cockpit that's in this one. Now, here's the year of the horse. The one. original Hasbro MP10 version. Now, obviously, you can see a lot more of the detail in this one, mainly because uh, it's not clear. Now, well, I forgot to mention this, but these have now still have actually have clear lights opposed to red ones that were on here. Just thought I'd throw that in there. But I really do like the trailer. It's so hard to decide which design I like better because I love this one because it's so iconic and so classic to Optimus Prime. But this one, the clearness just just sells it for me. This is fantastic looking. Um, on this bit up here, this claw that was gray previously, it's still there, but is now a black. Um. This little satellite, instead of being all gray, is now black, and the top is a crystal clear plastic, which is so cool. And the cockpit, opposed to being a very dark gray, which you could kind of see through in the past, which can still open over here, um, is now a completely crystal clear um, plastic. It's it's really nice. I really I can't even explain it because it's not coming across too gray on the camera, but it it, it is. Um, I can't even explain how much I love this blue plastic here on the new one. Um, I liked the blue before because obviously it just looked good. But like you can see up here in the top where these little uh, stations are, it just looks phenomenal. So that's the inside of the trailer. Uh, same mold, of course, but the colors on this I think I like a little bit more. Uh, on the top here you still have that little panel that can cl open or enclose depending on if you want that thing to come out. And what's really cool is you can s like completely see it in there. You can see it on that side. You can see it in here. And, like it's not it's not hidden. It's like you think this would be like a, a, a hiding mode for Optimus because it's all clear like, but this is like so very cool. I really do enjoy this. Just look in there. So trailer number one. And we're gonna get the other one up in here. And like I said, I really wish it would have come with a roller because it really would have like just made it seem so cool that you could see roller inside the trailer when he's in there. But uh and here's trailer number one with trailer number two. Now obviously like, like I said I love this trailer because of how iconic it is to Optimus Prime with the blue stripe and the Autobot logo. Of course, I still love this trailer, and I just realized it's got a little bit of scuff marks on it. There you go. And it's off. Um, but this one is so crystal. I, I In hand, under light, any even if it, it's not under light, it looks so great with the blue changing up the little platform and the blue inside. 
it really does add a very new element to a very classic trailer design, and I honestly can't decide which one I love more, because they are both fantastic trailers. If you were wondering, I tested it. Old Roller can still haul the trailer. It's the same mold, just different, I guess, colors it's molded in. But um, now we'll bring in the big guy himself, Optimus Prime. Now, before I bring in the other guy to compare him to, just... Take a look at them. Um, as you can see, lots of differences. We got a dark burgundy red. Uh, all everything that was like chrome before is now a gold chrome, which I th I think is really cool. I have no problem with it. I mean, you're the horse. Sure, why not? Perfectly goes with it. Um, the tires and the wheels are still exactly the same. Uh, smokestacks again instead of chrome, they're gold. The Autobot logo is now gold instead of red. Um, the windows are now completely clear, opposed to blue. Um, you got gold all along here, which looks phenomenal. Same silver stripe, however. And on this side, even though it's not molded in like this one, uh, you now have a, another Autobot logo on the other side, but the Year of the Horse logo. I think that's really, really cool. Um, the back, the blue, is a much darker blue to match. Um, the uh, mirrors are now black instead of a silver. So here is... The Year of the Horse Optimus Prime, and here is the original MP10 Optimus Prime, and didn't feel like he was pegged in. But um, as you can see, some major differences. Now, again, I'm not even going to get into which one I like more because I love this one. This is classic G1 Optimus Prime all the way. It looks phenomenal, 100% accurate. It looks great. This one, however, is such a nice color scheme that I really do love. But the thing is, I even though this is Optimus Prime, don't get me wrong, this is Optimus Prime, um, but the fact of the matter is, it's so dark, and even though it does have the Autobot logo, it has this weird kind of crazy looking logo with darker colors, and in his robot mode, he has a black face, I kind of like to pretend this isn't Nemesis Prime, but it almost is, because if you remember in Transformers Prime, Nemesis Prime was a dulled down version of Optimus, that's kind of what this guy is, minus the gold. So I like to pretend he's like an evil version of Optimus that somehow isn't Nemesis Prime. But as you can see, the gold versus chrome here. And both their windows were look very black here, but as you can see, these were blue. And these are now, uh, they're not smoky like they look on camera, they're clear. But I like how when you close both of them, th this on cam off camera, I, you can't really see it, but still looks black, or I mean blue, off camera depending on whether or not it's open, but this one, when you close it, I mean, it's obvious that they are, uh, clear, but they look really good, because they look black, kind of, when they're closed. Um, you got silver lights up here, opposed to the yellow, uh, the top part still isn't painted, um, you can see, again, dulled down, what I'm talking about, you got much darker blue here than the lighter blue. I do, do believe, though, that this blue here is the, t uh, tone of blue that was used in the Takara Masterpiece Optimus. I do believe that is correct. But um, other than that, no, not too many differences in the vehicle mode besides the paint. And it'll be the same in the robot mode. There's no mold differences. And I'll show you the matrix. I bet all of you are waiting for that when we get to the robot mode. So I'll just give you full 360. Uh, just, yeah, ish. you can really see the differences. And I think I do like the original more just because it's original classic Optimus. But I do love this one because it just looks so good. And I like pretending it's evil Optimus. Evil. You want to see the pictures I took of them two fighting, go over to my Twitter at Pixar Prime 10. But, um, yeah, there's nothing left to do. Oh, well, I guess I can show you that this still opens. And, uh, I think there's some mold degradation on this guy. Because as moving his, for example, these windows, when I open them, they swing open with ease. These ones, I've always had to push a little bit. And same in the robot mode, the arms, uh, in this one kind of are a little bit loose and I can turn them easier. These ones are a little stiff, so, so I think over time there's been some mold degradation on this mold. But, um, yeah, so that can still open. But with any further ado, let's get these guys to their robot modes. Um, and since I covered the review in the original review of this guy, if you want, uh, covered the review, I covered the transformation in the review of this guy. So if you want the transformation, head on to the review of Masterpiece Optimus Prime MP10. But for now, we're just going to skip the transformation and get these guys to their robot modes. Here we have Optimus Prime in his robot mode. I have the uh, original MP10 off camera for now. But, um, yeah, here we have him in his robot mode. And... As I came back to this mold after about a, I guess, a couple months' time from reviewing the original, I really forgot how fantastic of a figure this really is. It's so spot on to the cartoon in every single way, down to this big thing on his back, and 
it when you look at this, it's so hard to tell that this actually can turn into a truck. I mean, yeah, you look at that, but look, it's so streamlined. It's just such a great figure. Now, um, first, we'll, I guess, talk about it a little bit. One thing that I did mention that I said I would show you is it does have a black face. And by that, I don't mean the faceplate, but the area in between his faceplate and the top of his head where his eyes are is black, which just is really cool. It gives me an evil feeling. I do kind of wish the eyes on this guy were red to match this clear red plastic on his crotch and the clear red plastic on his arms right here where the arrows are. Um, he still has uh, blue hands, same dark blue as here, and this is no longer silver. This is a light uh, metallic blue. Uh, this part here is still gray, but a darker gray, and this in here is no longer gray. It is black, his knees. Um, you got the gold chrome. You got the black right here. Silver, is that's still silver, obviously. Um, you got the red arms with the silver stripe. You got the gold smokestacks. Um, just all around a fantastic figure. So, well, not real quick, because we got to compare the figures. But here is the original Optimus Prime. And let me tell you, these are such fantastic figures. And I'm so happy that I actually have two of them. It was between this guy and Starscream. And when it came down to it, I could not cast up another version of this mold. So I had to go for it. So, yeah, I'll probably get Starscream at some point in the future. But, um... As you can see, on the heads, we have the darker blue here, or, I'm sorry, on this guy. And, uh, you can see we still have the same color blue eyes, and, uh, you have these... Oh, this face right here is all silver all the way through, but this silver stops at the faceplate, and the area around the eyes, like I said, is actually black. You can see that these windows are blue, these are clear, and that the matrix chamber in there is gold from the bumper. This one is silver, but you can't really tell because it's... Well, blue. Uh, you got the Autobot logo here, Autobot logo there, but then like I said, the year the horse logo on that right there. You got the chrome and uh, gold chest. You got the chrome and gold smokestacks. Anything that was chrome is now gold. Um, I really do like this red here on the crotch plate opposed to the yellow. I love the yellow. I, I love everything about this figure. This is probably still my favorite. But um, you can totally see where I get that this is evil from this guy. He's darker uh, he is red on him. It just, and he's got, like, weird markings. It makes me feel like he's totally, totally evil and just wants to rip the Matrix right out of Optimus's chest. And that his Matrix is, like, a false Matrix, I guess. Um, so, you can see the area around here is still silver. Um, the feet are still die-cast. Um, I don't really have anything metal around, I guess, here. Let's try scissors. You can kind of hear that it's not really. You can well, it's it's still metal. The feet they're still die cast, uh, which makes me very happy. It's still clear on the toes, and uh, same in the back. It's still that. Uh, actually, it's not on the original. You had that uh, gray plastic, and uh, on the new one you have black plastic. So that's new. Um, one thing that I do really like on the arms is that instead of being all the way red through, it stops right here and turns black. I think that's very nice looking. I love the black here. All these is the black and the darkness in this guy. Just evil, and I love it. So, we're going to get this guy out of the way for now, and I'll run down this guy's articulation. His head is on a, I think, universal joint is what this would be. It can move up and down, side to side, and then it also has a little plate that can move like so. Um, his arms have that joint right there so they can move back and forth uh i guess move like that and move forward and back like that they have a cut at the bicep to make it swivel an elbow joint the fist will rotate a full 360 degrees uh these three fingers again move and then this finger will also move individually with a articulated uh i guess knuckle joint um that's the arms the waist still rotates a full 360 degrees so that's always nice to have a waist joint. Um, the hips are on a universal joint, so those will move like so. Uh, go forward and back, and then in and out. Uh, the knees can bend forward and back on a ratchet joint, and then the feet can pivot like so, and the toe and heel can move still, which is very great for posing. I learned that when I was posing this figure with the other guy. So, now I'll show you Masterpiece Prime, or Year of the Horse Prime, with his accessories. So it's no question that he can still hold his gun, but, um, I mean, I guess in case people are wondering, I'll show you that, but also I'll show you that if you open up his back here and fold up the gun, it will still fit into his back like so, and will fit perfectly in there. And I'm more than confident that uh, the old Prime's gun will as well. So I'm just going to pop that open, and uh, you open up the hand, 
and inside is still the hole for the tab on the uh, handle of the gun, so you just wiggle that in. And as you can see, Optimus, or as I like to call him, Evil Optimus, or I guess just Nemesis Prime, can still hold his own gun. And I'm sure if you really wanted you to... You can have Optimus dual-wielding uh, ion blasters. That is actually really kind of cool. And I might display him like that, maybe give one two axes... And, uh, maybe give one, two guns. And speaking of his axe, axe, right here. So, uh, I'm just gonna unplug that because it gets in the way when trying to put it on. But, um, you just slide that over his fist like so. And then you just peg this back in. And here you have Optimus, uh, with his axe again. You can have him chop... Oopsies. Hit my camera there. You can have him chop someone's head off. And, uh, just like with the guns. Right, guys, I, I guess I'm pretty dumb because... I, I tried to put this on, the orange axe on his other hand, to have him dual-wield axes, which would have looked freaking incredible. But um, I didn't even realize this is only molded to fit on a right hand. It won't go on his left hand, so... Oh, well, but there's his Energon axe. I really like how it's blue, because, like, Energon axe is, like, Energon is blue. Or at least in Transformers Prime it was, opposed to G1, where it was that purplish color. Um, it's still very hard to get off his hand, by the way. But, um, yeah, it won't go on his uh, other hand. Now, um, I guess there's really only one more accessory to show you that you have not seen yet, and that is obviously the Matrix of Leadership. So we're just gonna come down here. So we're gonna open up the Matrix Chamber, and as you can see, there's a, the, it won't close all the way. It's because the Matrix Chamber on this guy, for me, isn't closing all the way. Now... I, I'm sorry, but I have to mention that on this figure, there are a ton of, um, just, like, paint splotches. There's a scratch there, a scratch there, there's scratches all over the trailer, and there's a scratches on his truck and his vehicle, which really bothers me. Hasbro, get your act together. For $140, like, come on, fi pull that together. But anyway, the Matrix Chamber won't close, and I happen to know... <clears throat> That it's not the matrix causing, or that it's not the chamber or the mold on this figure that's causing that. It's actually the matrix, because I tried putting the matrix in my other Optimus Prime, and it wouldn't close as well. And that one's always closed fine. So there's something wrong with this matrix here. But anyway, we're going to open this up. I love all that gold. And then we're going to open that up. And you can see it's, well, you can't really tell, but it's kind of sticking forward. And then I'll uh, open that up, and there's a matrix. And it's a very dark, dark place. So we're just going to push on that side and then kind of pull it out here but all right set him in the back and you can see still phenomenal detail in the chamber i love that um here we have optimus prime's uh matrix of leadership get the light down here now this is uh the mold is exactly the same but obviously there's something wrong with the, this one if it's not letting the uh chamber close on Prime. Now, real quick, like, let me get the Matrix out of the other Optimus Prime, so I can show that to you. Compare it. So, here is the other Matrix, um, and you can tell these are both die casts, because when I hit them together... I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear it's metal. Um, now this is the original, this is the new one. Um, the, the weights honestly feel exactly the same. Well, yeah, exactly the same. And I'm looking extremely closely on this one. And, like, side by side. And I do not see any differences that would cause it not to close. Now, this Matrix obviously is is iconic. Uh, the copper and the blue crystal is obviously the most iconic part, which I just realized. If I push on that, it will actually... Holy crud! Um... I, I just now discovered that this actually comes out of the Matrix. Wow. That's kind of kind of cool. Um, I wonder... It It's not supposed to, because it won't come out on this one. But on this one... Wh wow. All right, so I guess if you have this, give a little push on your Matrix and... If it starts to come out, I guess you can take it out if you want, but I don't think that's supposed to do that. Um, I, I, I'm kind of concerned now. hope that's not a problem that I'm going to run into in the future. But, uh, yeah, the, the Matrix, the core of the Matrix just completely came out. 
That can't be good. But anyway, here are the two matrixes. And uh, as you can see, I wish I could actually take this one out now to compare the two crystals. But um, this is a much darker blue, much more accurate to the movie and the show and continuities in general. And this one here is a much brighter turquoise. Now, I don't prefer that one. I do prefer the blue because it's more accurate. And uh, even though I do love the way this one looks, but I do prefer the copper on this one. This copper is much brighter. And I honestly think that this one wasn't that accurate. I, I always looked at this and was like, that's not that too accurate. But um, when I look at this one here... It, this one's a lot more accurate in terms of the copper, and wow, if this one would actually come out, I just realized I could totally swap them, and it would look phenomenal. <sighs> Breakthroughs you make while filming reviews. Um, the silver on the handles is, like I said, die cast. It's still exactly the same. So the matrixes are exactly the same. Now, just to prove that it's the matrix that's causing the chamber not to shut, you will bring this up. And then I'll put this guy right in here. This is the one from uh, MP10 that we're putting in Year of the Horse. And it closes just fine. Just fine. So, yeah, weird. But, um, yeah, so we're going to take his matrix and plop that right back in there. For some reason, have it not close on me. But, um, alright guys, that is, I think, all I have to show you for this figure. Um, I showed you all of his accessories, the robot mode, the articulation comparisons, and uh, I sound like a real amateur, but unless I'm forgetting anything, that is it. So, alright guys, thanks for watching the video review of the Transformers Platinum Edition, Year of the Horse, Optimus Prime, and have a great day.